You're up, Nico. You know I got you covered, asshole. Try not to get us killed on the way there. timing. Cry 5 confirmed. It's wrong in there, but March 8th, 2019. Uh, they switched the dates back and forth in Europe. So yeah. I don't think it's August. It's, it's much sooner than that. It's March. Yeah, 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 March 8th. Now, here to give us more details on how the game is shaping up is Itsuna-san and Matt from Capcom. How are y'all doing today? Good. How are you doing, man? I'm, you know what? I got to match your excitement. So All I'm right. doing that great. Oh, yeah, I am so doing happy. that great. People are finally getting a chance to play the game here at Gamescom for the first time. We did yesterday. We and did. If there's a better demo here at Gamescom, I mean, no disrespect to anything that we've seen before, but I'd be very impressed if there's something better here. Look, we really appreciate it. We are super excited. We're, it was, it's been amazing all day long. It's been the longest line from what I can tell, and it's just such an honor to have so many people excited about the game, you know? So let's talk about the game. Um, in playing, immediately it became clear there are entirely new mechanics in Devil May Cry 5, starting with the Devil Breakers, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's why I don't have my sleeve here. Exactly, so the Devil Breakers are the new system from Nero that is gonna give him a chance to experiment with all kinds of new gameplay. There's gonna be eight different standard Devil Breakers that players are gonna be able to use, and there's all kinds of different moves that you could do with the Devil Breakers that you couldn't do before in Devil May Cry 4. Yeah, we're seeing some of that action here. Look at that, there you go. We're, we're jumping also right seeing, in. Tell us about this boss here. Yeah. All right, yeah, well it turns out, so this is the boss fight that everybody playing the Gamescom demo is getting a chance to play. This is the Goliath. Fun fact, the Goliath is based on our buddy uh, Brian, who's the brand manager in Europe for Devil May Cry, at least that's what I'm telling people. And he's huge. He's, he's huge, exactly. He's huge and he's got a big booming voice just like this guy. So here we go. Already we're starting with this, right? Itano san. Yeah. Taking a look here. What's what's going on with the Goliath here? Look at this. Oh, Google then. Hidikaete. That's right, that's right. So this is this is exclusive to inside Xbox right here. You see this? He just switched over to the Buster Arm, which is Nico's way of trying to replicate the Devil Bringer. Boom! Oh, I, I love say, the pose. I, I love fight, the pose. I was not right? able to do that. He right? was doing that to us. Yeah, it's, absolutely. I got lost around. Oh, so, it well, so and that's the thing. You guys didn't have the chance to play us that because we don't have that in this build. That's an exclusive just for inside Xbox to show you guys. 
one of the special devil breakers that you can use in the game that we don't have to build today. That, that's okay. why we do. All right, I got it. That's, yeah. why, that's, why, we that's, that's why, why we do. That's why you guys. I've got to admit, awesome. I'm I'm a bit new to the franchise, and I dabbled a bit in four. But Devil May Cry Five is going to be my first foray into it. I need to know the setup. What do I need to know about this game? Tell me a bit about the story. Well, look, Devil May Cry is a game about Dante and Nero and they and the descendants of Sparta who are taking on demons, okay? So that's kind of the gist of it anyways. Uh, if you want to know how to get into Devil May Cry 5, I would suggest on Xbox Game Pass, you're going to get the chance to play Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. So I'd say check that out, and that'll give you a nice warm-up for what you can play in Devil May Cry 5. All right, that sounds good. All right, why don't we look at uh, a little bit more gameplay, and at Zuno san perhaps you'll you'll tell us what we're seeing Ooh, here. Sounds good. Yeah, multi All right, so it's a little bit more of the Goliath here, I think, from the beginning, and we just saw a cool grapple move. That's right, that's right. So you're right, there is this wire move that he's doing. This is actually an approximation of one of the moves you can do with the Devil Bringer in Devil May Cry 4. You can still do that in here, and whether you have a Devil Breaker or not, you can always do that move. You'll also notice, though, that there's this gauge in the top left corner that charges up. That's something called, uh, you can do something called the EX Act. And that's a move that if you time your button press just right, you're going to rip up your sword right after doing an attack and strengthen your next attack. So, I wish we had talked to you before we had yeah, played. Yeah, before that's we right, played, because I actually, I'll ask you this right now. There's, there's melee, there's obviously the, the guns yep. that you carry, and there's their, your Devil Breaker, right? What do I need to know going in? What's the best way to chain combos, get, get that best well, ranking? The best way to chain combos is to do a whole bunch of different moves. Real quick here, but look at this. So Hit that here, way. Nero's using the Gerbera Devil, Devil, <laughs> Devil Breaker, yeah. and you'll notice that he's got a supercharged move that you can do with that. And what he just did the, the right there is called the Pedal Ray. That's this move that bounces lasers off the walls. It's actually the most effective in small environments because every time it bounces, you're going to find that it actually gets stronger. So it was really smart of our guy, Yoshida-san, he's the one doing the gameplay here, <laughs> to <laughs> uh, use that move in that environment. But to get back to your question, so Nero's got the Red Queen and the Blue Rose that he's had from Devil May Cry 4, so both melee attacks and gun attacks they can use at a distance, as well as these Devil Breakers, which are new to the series. And there's a bit of a risk reward, I feel like, with the Devil Breakers. Like, if you rely on them too much, you lose that arm, right? Exactly, you're correct. What's going to happen is there's a couple different ways that they can break. You notice in the bottom right corner here that you actually have a limited number of Devil Breakers at any given time. And so if you take damage while you're using a Devil Breaker, they could break. Or if you do one of their super moves, then that could break it. Or then finally, there's another one called Breakaway, where if you hit the left bumper, you're going to automatic, you're going to break one completely. Uh, but you could do that on purpose. And the reason you would want to do that is, a, if you want to switch over to one of the Devil Breakers in your inventory, or B, if you need, if you're in a sticky situation, that acts as an emergency of fate. All right. Well, in our last few seconds, do you have any shout-outs that you want to give? Man, I do. Actually, I want to give a big shout-out to the dev team in Osaka because they are doing a fantastic job. They're working hard every night. Yoshida-san, Ikeda-san, they're working on their butts off right now on doing the final adjustments to the game right now. Also, just a real quick shout out to the Devil May Cry 5 Resetter Discord. Lots of really nice people in there. But yeah, that's where we go, man. Devil May Cry 5 coming out March 8th, 2019. And we're going to find out more about the game at TGS. All right. I know you guys probably wondering about Dante. I'm, I'm wondering a lot. There's so a lot that's that I need to catch month, up on. Right? That yeah, is next month. Coming up soon. We'll have to, we have to go to Tokyo now. Yeah, we'll, Tune yeah. in to TGS, man. We have a business justification. We're there. We're there. Come well, on thank you so much for yeah. joining us. We absolutely appreciate it. And for those of you Game Pass subscribers, keep in mind, you can play Devil May Cry 4 SE right now. And there is still a lot more Inside Xbox coming up. デビルメイクライフ4の、まあ、一応僕らとしては数年後のお話で。This is a direct sequel to DMC4. It takes place several years after DMC4, and Nero has been gifted the Neon Devil May Cry sign from Dante, which is actually a detail that's not mentioned in the game, but in a novelization. So Nero uses it to set up his own mobile demon hunting agency, and that's how our story begins. You'll find that there's a lot of new stuff, 
But what we can talk about right now specifically is Nero's new weaponized robotic arms, which he uses for hunting demons, that we call Devil Breakers. You'll be able to catch a couple hints as to what they'll be capable of if you pay careful attention to the gameplay in the trailer, but you can look forward to hearing more details in Gamescom. It's been 10 years since DMC4, so my boss came to me and said that in order to keep it relevant for today, we'll need to make something that you can take one glance at and know that it's quality. So we chose to make it with a photorealistic graphic style. We found, though, that without the proper care, photorealism combined with gaming animation can lead to what I refer to as an uncanny valley of action. So we put a lot of effort in to ensure that the game would still play with that tight Capcom play control, but still feel at home with realistic graphics. We'd love for fans to pay careful attention to how that feels. After making DMC4, we plan on going right into making the special edition, but that fell through at the time. We eventually did follow through with that three years ago, however, and at that point lots of the dev members wanted to try their hand at making a new one. So that's what I'm most excited about, that we get to make the game that we've wanted to make for 10 years. ぜひ、えー、期待してください。ゲームズコンで遊べます。よろしくお願いします。